The electron flow first produces a maximum concentration in this direction. Reverses, then produces a maximum in the opposite direction. Flow reverses, maximum. This cycle repeats itself at the signal frequency. While the charges build up the most at the peaks, the highest current is where the electrons are moving the most. Where the electrons are moving the most is where you'll have the highest current power losses. Like in transmission, those power losses are ohmic losses and are lost to heat. Just like a wine glass driven at its resident frequency shatters, and a mechanical system will oscillate until failure. If we drive the antenna at its resonant frequency and at a rate faster than it can dissipate the heat, it will become glowing red hot. But let's say we drive it with many different resonant frequencies, so that when they add together, they make a wave of extreme intense current in a localized tight spot, but a very low current all other places on the antenna. If that current is applied to the long steel beams of a skyscraper, do you think something different will happen? Do you think ohmic heating won't apply here? Electricity does melt steel beams.